tra la 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 I can't believe I could start a review with that. Hey guys, this is my review for Captain Underpants. I cannot believe that they actually made a movie of this. I was a big fan of the books when I was in grade school. I even read them when they were in high school. I do not know what number they're at now. I think the last one I read was number nine or number eight. I like these books because they were funny. I liked the inner humor within. I like how Dave Pickley really brought the two boys to life and really got into the minds of what a child is like who's trying to create his own comic between the terrible spelling, the funny action, the flip rama pages. That was a great homage to the books when they do a flip rama scene. But the thing that they also did is they kind of, they didn't really break the fourth wall, but they did as much as they could in the novels. This one certainly breaks the fourth wall and adds a little bit more of that cartoonish element to it but it still does interpret the original meaning and the kind of the whole theme of the books into this film. This movie is about two young boys George and Harold and how their friendship is extremely strong between them and helps them create their comics and the character of Captain Underpants and their main adversary is the principal of the school Mr. Krupp who is a no fun at all sort of guy and his sort of plan is to try and break up the two because of all the pranks they do and basically just kind of ruin their friendship because this guy's a terrible person. The humor of how a child envisions grade school was hysterical. From making it look like a freaking prison to a death march and all this stuff, it was really funny. And now admittedly, if I were watching this as a kid, I would kind of be a little bit on the fence as to what I thought was funny, but the kids, there was a bunch of kids in the theater behind me and they were laughing throughout the whole movie. And I was laughing too. More so the jokes that were kind of child related or very very dark for a film that of this sense I wasn't laughing along with them the whole time but there were some parts that I did find quite funny everything follows pretty much to the first book and the third book the revenge of professor poopy pants John, uh, John Kroll gets to voice poopy pants and he's fantastic once again as a villainous character with a really weird ideal Ed Helms does a great job as Captain Underpants and Mr. Krupp and I really like how they work the character as well as it's basically the first book. In a sense, there is this is the first book and the third one put together. And I liked how they put the two in, I liked how they sort of gave the idea of a sequel but it wasn't a focus, it was just something they kind of threw in at the last minute. It kind of looks like how the Peanuts was done but from multiple angles, low angles, Dutch angles, all this stuff. The humor is very constant, it is funny. There are some juvenile jokes, but the whole point of the book was kind of a joke on juvenile humor. And also the action is pretty fun. The climax is, albeit predictable, this whole film is very predictable. A sense that actually even Pickle started to comment on in the books, he would have George and Harold kind of point out how they always are able to overcome the odds and it's kind of become a little bit formulaic ergo how he is still continuing the series despite the fact of how much meta he realizes how ridiculous the series is is an amazement to me it's a standard film it nothing really stood out about it to me in terms of how other animated films are so it's a one-time good fun time i don't know if it's not going to stick out if i were to ever say of the great animated films I've ever seen, Captain Underpants is certainly not going to be one of those, but it's still an enjoyable time for both children and adults, and I thought it stuck well to the books, and the books are alright, I enjoy them, they're not the best, but I do enjoy them. I haven't read them in a while, man, you, I really should see how far along he is. My rating for Captain Underpants, the first movie, is a 4 out of 7. It's a fun time, take your kids to it, I thought it was alright. It was just like kind of going back to grade school almost, just reliving all this, uh... All the memorabilia from that. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. See you guys next time.